<laughs> all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to chicago bears daily where i post daily bears content hit that subscribe button if you haven't already we're here joined by <laughs> swaggy all right yeah man uh, i made a bears video and dude i got a lot of good feedback i appreciate you guys i think you have one of the most underrated rosters in football like i'm gonna be real i don't see the bears making the playoffs but like i think they'll be a 500 team i think that's fair yeah nothing wrong with that definitely yeah. a step in the right direction one year removed of all the firings yeah. kind of blowing up the roster not a good season yeah so what i mean do you have any thoughts on i guess start out do you have any thoughts on like i don't know because you're you're a colts fan yeah so this is from an outsider's perspective which is why i think it's really cool but i know maybe we focus it on fields like what do you think about fields because do you know like eber um yeah from, i'm very from the colts, familiar yeah, with from the colts yeah it's like head coach head so, coach right yeah how do you do you think fields Eberflus. Well, I'm gonna be honest. I don't like. I'm not really. I don't really have an opinion on Matt Eberflus. I'm more concerned on like how the offense is gonna fluctuate around Justin Fields. Okay. Like I here, I'm gonna be honest. I think Justin Fields is the best quarterback in the class. Like coming in, I'm not even just saying that because we're on a Bears video. I I love Justin Fields, dude. He's a smart kid. He can he has a huge arm. He's fast, and you put the right offense around him. I mean, we're talking about an MVP type of player. And I think that's what the Bears need too, because yeah. the Bears like the Bears have talent. Like they've got playmakers like all around the field, dude. Yeah. And they have a they have a decent enough defense to get stops to compete. So yeah. like, I don't know, I don't know the last X factor the Bears had at QB. Like maybe Trub was, was his it, rookie. It season. wasn't Matt Hasselback, was it? No, he played for the Bears. I don't or? think Hasselback ever played for the oh. Bears. Oh, <laughs> but I'm talking like Grossman, Cutler, you know, Trub. None of them were really like that yeah. X factor, like Justin Fields. I mean, Cutler had a huge arm, but like yeah, they yeah he had a huge arm. Yeah, but he was a lot, <laughs> made a lot of mistakes, I guess, which is and Trubisky the like, trade off. They, I mean, they made the playoffs with him. Like yeah. they had Nagy. That's what I'm saying. Like rookie rookie yeah. Trubisky, where you know teams didn't really have too much of a scheme on him, and I guess Nagy was you know first year, so you don't really know. I mean, you're not a Nagy fan, right? No, yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely well, around the Matt Nagy. Who well, is a Matt Nagy fan? <laughs> a horrible coach. What are your? Because uh, we were talking about Cole Komet earlier today. Oh God. <laughs> and so do you think that Darnell Mooney, who I think is really underrated, yeah, um, Akil Harry, brand new, and <laughs> Felix Jones Jr. Maybe yeah. throwing Byron Pringle. Um, I like Pringle and Cole Komet. Yeah. Step in the right direction? Should they do more? So here's the thing. It does not look good on paper, but no. who cares? Who the hell cares about paper? We need to see production. And I do think that, well, first of all, Darnell Mooney is a number one receiver. He will be a number one receiver. I don't know if it'll be this season, but early 20 guy, amazing player. I, I do know, like, the whole Allen Robinson, like, the whole controversy of, like, a lot of people don't understand, like, you know, Nagy kind of drew him out of the offense, and he was injured. So, like, we can't be like, well, Mooney outplayed Robinson, like, that, that's not exactly fair, but I do yeah. think Darnell Mooney is extremely talented, and also we know Fields likes to sling the ball down the field, so that's why it's a perfect combination. But I don't think the Bears like receivers looks great right now, but I do think when we actually see them play, like they'll they'll like over exceed expectations. Yeah. I think we're gonna see a couple of guys like kind of come out of nowhere that uh -huh. people aren't expecting. Yeah. So yeah, and Cole Komet is I don't know too much about him, but from what I've seen, he looked like a really talented football player. Yeah. So from the eye test, I like Cole Komet. He's really freaking funny. First off, yeah, I like that. I mean, yeah, on paper, you know, nothing crazy. I've made videos on this channel talk about possibly signing, like you know, bringing in a Julio, uh, bringing in a, a Sanders, just on like a one-year proven deal. Yeah, I, honestly, normally um, I'm all for that. Like, if, if I'm the Green Bay Packers, absolutely sign me up for that. Yeah. But I'm, you know, the Bears aren't the Green Bay Packers. Yeah. They're they're are they in, they're in a rebuild, right? Or is this a retool? Is it what are the Bears? Really? I think it, it's the full-on rebuild. It's a, they're just full-on rebuild. It's a full full-on rebuild. I, the thing about that is, I don't, I don't. I mean, the Bears maybe will be like a top ten pick. It'll be around ten, right? You think? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think they're gonna be. They're not gonna be yeah. one of the you know five bottom teams in the NFL. But I don't. I don't think so. Dude. No, there's I no way. So many. I'm looking at their schedule. I want to go over their schedule. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, you wanted that now or? Yeah. All right. So I was looking at the Bears schedule, and they start off against the 49ers and the Packers, which you never know. They could win one of those. Not not ideal. Yeah. But then I'm looking at the Texans, the Giants, the Vikings, yep. Commanders, Patriots, all like. Obviously, they're not going to be favorited in many of those games, but like they can, they can beat some of those teams. Yeah. The Commanders, the Pats. Yeah. I know that you know, the Pats made the playoffs, but like, I mean, wait, is that game in Gillette? Or was, that's, so, a real, that's a brutal game going into New England. But that, that's what we've talked about on this channel. Is Eric and I on our streams? We'll talk. All right. If you get one game of San yeah. Francisco Green Bay, one of them, that's, as hard as it is, I know it's yeah. really, it's gonna be it's gonna be difficult. But the Bears, 
recently, recent years have started off really strong. The the positive side is with Ibrahflus and all the new cats in, you don't know the schemes. Or like, I That's guess you true. have an idea of it. Cause no, no one's, but, no, I don't think anyone's going to really have an idea. Yeah, with the Bears specifically, you know, how's he going to deploy fields? How's the yeah. offense going to work? How's any of this going to work? So you steal one of those two games, and then, yeah, you, you go play Houston. You play the Giants. Yeah. Maybe you're three and one. Commanders is a winnable game. Maybe, sure. yeah. Th- maybe you're three. Four and two That's the after thing. six. And dude, I'm like, I mean, like, I'm gonna be honest. Like, I don't, I'm not like a Bears expert. Far from it. But I'm looking at their. De- I know it's like on you know depth chart and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But they've got some studs. I know they drafted Jaquan Brisker, who I like a lot. Kyler Gordon, Eddie Jackson. I don't know if his production has gone down or he's still. It's like, gone down. He's gone down. He, him, and that was the thing is him and Jalen Johnson. Those are like the four dudes who yeah. are gonna be the secondary this year. Last year, it. I mean, they're. The defense, it really was all they had as far as the secondary. Yeah. Goes. So, I mean, I just felt like they were be, kind of being asked a little too much, expectations yeah, a little too that. high. They're literally so young that, and I just feel like they were asked so much. But yeah, you look at the secondary, I think the secondary is one of the Bears' best parts of their team. Yeah, it's really good. I'm reading these articles, and they're, they're ranking the secondary as like the worst in the league, second worst Are in the league. Are you serious? Yeah. It makes no sense. Because I know you got rid of some players. You need to get rid of Cleo Mack. You had to get yeah. rid of Yeah, what they got a second round, any, second round pick? Didn't make any Correct. sense to keep Khalil Mack past yeah, makes a full on rebuild when you fire everybody. Why would you keep Khalil? I mean, Mack? Khalil Mack is like been injured. Is yeah, like... <laughs> I mean, so he 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 got injured after a few games last year. However, yeah, didn't he have like five think, sacks in those? Yeah, that, that's the thing. He played like six games. He had like six sacks. <laughs> So, oh God. I think that's kind of what is getting more tough towards <laughs> with Khalil now. Is, you know, can he stay healthy? But. You know, the defense, Roquan Smith, Nicholas Morrow, brand new signing. Um, I like some of the moves they made on the line. This is something that's it's just going to take a little bit. It's just going to take Dude, a little am bit I, is Roquan Smith a top three linebacker in football? Who am I missing? So, like, Darius Leonard, Fred Warner, and is it am I missing anyone? Smith? Is there, like, a really good linebacker I can't think of? D- dude, there has to be. I know, probably, but it's really he's, top five, he's top five for sure, like, at minimum. Dude, people disrespect the hell out of him his, yeah his, his pff grade or uh, he's it's fast like 50, too 58.4 he's or fast like that. man he's good i don't but i was just i was texting eric about this because i was like i see all this roquan smith hate online from non-bears fans like he's not even that good his, his numbers delusional. back it up but then I'm, i text eric i'm like i'm like is he is he really bad in coverage or am i missing something he's like i i, I don't think i've ever yeah i've never noticed that about roquan so like yeah, I don't think you know, there's a weakness to his game. To wrap the video up, coming in at six and eleven last season, yeah. I would probably put the Bears record if I had if I was playing a safe gambling game, not financial advice. I would probably throw them around six and eleven, seven and ten. Um, what would you say? So here's the thing with that. So last season they had Matt Nagy and won six games. So they're not winning less than six games. There, oh. there is no way in hell the Bears are not oh. winning six games this season. I don't know if they're going to win. Like, eight games seems like a stretch also. Yeah. But, like, last season, they were so bad. Like, they just were not coached well. Like, Justin Fields, like, wait, so I'm trying to think last season. So Because Fields didn't come in as the starter, right? No, it was Dalton. Okay, yeah, because I don't have, like, yeah. any notes on the Bears. Yeah. Like, I was making a Bears video. Yeah. So, yeah, like, how does that make sense? Like, he didn't even have a chance to be the starter week one. Yeah. Like, how? Like what? I You want to, like, ease him into his argument. But with a cat like Fields... And even in today's league, I wouldn't. I don't think that a veteran QB is is needed. Like, look at Joe Burrow. What if Joe Burrow was still riding well, the bench? Joe Burrow was also the number one pick. Yeah. And Joe and he's a, he he played five years of college. But I, I get what you're saying. Yeah. I get what you're saying. Like, dude, like you draft a quarterback, get them in there, let them make yeah. a mistake. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> let, him, let him pay for it now when you're not dude trey lance i mean you know jimmy garoppolo i mean i guess he, you know he got him far but like you know they I, lost it yeah i'd, I'd end the jimmy g train unless they won it <laughs> unless they won it this past year which they did they, they did not yeah so. all right well swaggy thanks for coming on and, <laughs> yeah uh, i'll drop your channel down below in the comment section if you guys want to check swaggy out he, he does make yeah, a, a good amount of football videos so i appreciate yeah it. i actually i made a, a couple of bears videos the last like month so, so yeah, yeah bears are dope So hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and um, that's it. See you.